Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Marie Vlogs. For those of you who are new, I make now twice a week videos uh, here on YouTube, um, typically about lifestyle, my life in Ottawa, but this video is following my recent trip to Newfoundland with my boyfriend Spencer. Just before we get into the video, I want to mention that in this video we visit St. John's, but we also go to St. Pierre Miquelon, which is actually in France. So it's just off the coast of Newfoundland. You go from Fortune, Newfoundland, take the ferry, and then you're in St. Pierre Miquelon. And there will be one more part in the series coming up, so stay tuned for that as well. And I'll be going back to my regular lifestyle and some really cool videos coming soon. So anyways, I just wanted to hop on and say that and I hope you enjoy the video. And good morning, it is Friday. We are saying goodbye to our beautiful place in Fogo Island and we're going to catch the ferry now to St. John's. So let's go along. Hey guys, so we made it to the ferry terminal. Um, we're here over an hour and a half early and I don't know if we're gonna get on. There's so many cars here. Pro tip, if you're leaving Fogo, come two hours early. Three. Maybe three. We're still moving. And now we're stopped for some reason. Okay, we've made the turn. <laughs> this is so stressful. Okay, well, I think we're good. So we just made it to St. John's and we just checked into our little Airbnb and I'll show you around. All right guys, I had to re-record this because the sound was really bad because as you can see, there's some dehumidifiers and air purifiers plugged in. So it's just a little bit loud, but this Airbnb was super cute. Look how cool the living room is. And then to the side over here, there was like a little kitchenette area with like little things that you would need to prepare quick meals um, for your stay. And I just love the decor. It's so, so cute. So they also provided water, which was really nice considering we've been traveling so much and buying so much water. Um, they even provided snacks, which was really, really lovely. They also had some games and some books that you could use if you had time during your stay, which was pretty cool. The bathroom was pretty spacious. And she also included like these makeup wipes um, and then some makeup remover and like q-tips and like sanitary things for women, which was I felt really appreciated that I thought that was really cool You don't see that quite often um, And yeah, like I said pretty spacious really cute and then this is the bedroom There is one bedroom in this Airbnb and very cutely decorated. She even had some perfumes um, Available to use It's really cute. Um, we're just gonna get ready Figure out what we're gonna eat for supper meet Spencer's brother and head out into town Good morning everyone, it is Saturday. Again, in the messy car, we just have so much stuff because every different location requires different stuff. Anyways, it is raining. We're a little disappointed, but I mean, it's St. John's, Newfoundland. So like, chances are it was gonna rain anyway, so it's fine. But anyways, it's nine right now. We're just waiting for Spence's brother to find parking and then we're gonna go walk and get some breakfast. So yeah, so today we're going to be exploring all around. I'll also be reunited today with my friend Marissa, who I haven't seen in like four years. So I'm very excited to see her. Anyways, I'll talk to you guys later. So for brunch, we decided to go to Ta, which was the, it's a restaurant, but also this is just the cafe area, not their full restaurant. Um, it was very good. The coffee was delicious and we had breakfast sandwiches that were very good as well. I just will say it's a little bit pricey for breakfast, but it is a bougier cafe. So if you like that, definitely check it out. And then we decided just to walk around, take in the views and look at the shops. Thank you. 
Then after a while of walking, we got thirsty and hungry, so we went to the Battery Cafe to get some London Fogs, which were actually really good, and then walked over to Craig's Cookies, which was just down the street, and oh my god. <laughs> When I tell you the smell in here was so amazing, like these all smell and tasted so good. I really highly recommend their mint Oreo cookie. That was delicious, um, but all of them are really good. And then we decided to head towards Cape Spear um, just to check out the views and meet my friend Marissa. exploring Cave Spear, we decided to head quickly to Kitty Bitty just to check it out because I really wanted to see it. And then we found Oliver's for supper, which was actually really delicious. My seafood was cooked perfectly um, and everyone here enjoyed our meal. So I highly recommend that. And then as if we didn't eat enough already, we decided to head to the parlor for some delicious gelato. It was super, super good. I had pistachio, it was delicious, everyone liked it. And then we just, you know, spent the night catching up and that was it. So the next day we woke up early, we got some coffee and a breakfast sandwich at the battery and headed on the road because we needed to catch our ferry to St. Pierre Micanon. So we have to be there quite early. I think it's like two hours. So we got there, headed on the boat and then enjoyed the ride, but not actually because <laughs> it was, it was pretty rough. Hi guys, um, we just arrived in St. Pierre. Um, the boat <laughs> was so rocky, like I thought I was gonna puke the entire time, but I'm glad to say that I did not puke and neither did Spencer, but it got hot. And then one of the attendees was like, ça va? And I'm like, mm, pas vraiment. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so anyways, we're just walking to our hotel now. Um, and I'll update you guys later. So we decided to stay in the Hotel Robert in St. Pierre and I highly recommend it. It's at a great location and it was very spacious. We had a full bathroom, obviously a king bed. Sorry, it's a little bit messy. We just started putting stuff up everywhere, but honestly, I think it was really good. And then we decided to just walk around um, the town and just see what was around us and try to find supper. And on our way there, we noticed that there was a festival, Festival Basque, which we stopped and looked at. <laughs> Hi guys, so right now we're visiting one of the lighthouses, um, which is the footage that you would have just seen. A lot of things are closed on Sundays and Mondays, which are the two days that we're here. So we're going to try to explore as much as we can. Um, so tomorrow morning we'll try to be getting up um, early, you know, just to make the most of the day because everything closes here from noon to two for their little break. So yeah, so we're probably just gonna head back soon. Actually, I'm back um, because I forgot that we went to a little grocery store and I wanted to show you the little haul. Anyways, we went to a grocery store and I wanted to show you our little haul. So at first we got these, and then the other thing, these coconut chocolate cookies. Anyways, we're gonna go back. The fog is intense, so we're gonna go while we can still see the street a little bit. Good morning, everyone. Our first full day here. Good morning. <laughs> <laughs> we're walking from our hotel to go get breakfast at um, this little cafe in Boulangerie. So yeah, I'll show you what we get. Alrighty guys, so we just had breakfast. Um, I showed you all the desserts. I didn't want to vlog right then and there because there was someone trying to enjoy their breakfast, like a quiet breakfast, and I didn't want to be annoying and pull out my camera. Um, but I did videotape a little bit, just didn't talk. But anyways, everything tasted delicious. Now we're just walking and just seeing what's open. Some shops, some like bougie grocery stores. Yeah, I'm trying to figure out what for lunch and just go in with the flow. We're waiting for um, the one store that opens today. <laughs> Not really, but we're waiting for one of the stores to open. And it's a like bougie grocery store and gift shop.
can hear me, it's pretty windy outside. Um, but yeah, we're gonna go check out to see if we can get a little boat tour to the little island uh, just off the side path. And it's a old fishing village, so not many people live there, but there's still people that live too. Uh, not much there other than like a church and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna go see. Anyways, I'll update you if we get the tickets. After about an hour of visiting the island, we started to head back and then went to bed really early and then caught the ferry back to Newfoundland. Alrighty guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. If you did enjoy it, it would help me out a lot and it's always very much appreciative. I would also like to know, comment below if you can, um, if you enjoyed this video the way it was edited. So I included some voiceovers in this one, whereas in my part one, which if you haven't watched that, make sure you go watch part one. Um, in my part one, I didn't do about voiceovers. It was just visually showing you, but now I'm trying to include visual storytelling with audio storytelling. Let me know if you didn't, if you did enjoy that or if you didn't, uh, I would like to know so that moving forward, I know what the vibe is, you know? Okay, thank you so much and I'll see you in the next one.